In this video, I'm going to be going over style transfer with IP adapter. And what this allows us to do is upload a reference image like you see here. And then if I type in a prompt and click Q prompt, and what will happen is, is that stable diffusion will generate an output image that looks a lot like our input reference image. And this was done without actually training a LoRa file. And so this can be very useful for, let's say example, if you want to use an LoRa that's on SD 1.5, but the actual base model that you're using to generate your image is SDXL. Because what will happen normally if you try to use an SDXL model with a SD 1.5 LoRa file, you'll just basically get an error. So this is just a quick workaround to using a style that you like. So to install IP adapter and get access to style transfer, all you need to do is go to the GitHub page, click on code, copy the link over here, go back to your comfy UI, and then in the manager, click install via git URL. And once you've done that, it will install the necessary files. On top of that, you will actually need to go to the Comfy UI IP adapter page. And then if you scroll down to where it says models, you'll actually have to download all these models and place them into your models directory folder. Now, two things to point out. First, the actual names of the model files in your folder should be exactly the same as the ones on the actual GitHub page, or else you might run into errors. And the second point is that you don't actually have to download all these models to actually get access to IP adapter. So as you can see over here, I've actually only downloaded some of the IP adapter modules and IP adapter still works. It just means that I won't have access to all the options that you see over here. Once you've restarted your ComfyUI, getting the workflow up and running for IP adapter style adapter is relatively simple. So over here, I have a very simple text to image workflow, which takes in a text prompt and outputs an image. Now to get access to style adapter, I need to add in three extra nodes. So the first one that I want is load image. And what you're going to do here is actually upload the reference image that you want to use. Next, you're going to load the IP adapter unified loader. And finally, you're going to load in the IP adapter advanced. Then you're going to connect them all together. So I'm going to connect the IP adapter unified loader to model, then connect that to the IP adapter advanced, then collect the image of load image to the image of IP adapter advanced. And finally, connect the model output to the model input of the case sampler. Now, before we start generating, there's a few settings that we have to change. So first of all, I don't want to use the light SD 1.5 only model. Typically, I prefer to use the plus high strength model. So just click on that. And then for the IP adapter advanced, you're actually going to have to go to weight type and then click on the style transfer option. And now, if I click Q prompt, we can see that ComfyUI has generated the image of a train and it has used the reference image that we gave it as a sort of guide. So that's just a quick video in case you actually want to have a sort of like LoRa effect, but don't want to actually train a LoRa. Now IP adapter can do a lot more. If you want to find out more, I recommend the actual YouTube channel Latent Vision, where he goes more into depth of what IP adapter can do. But that's all for now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.